Hello everyone and welcome back to Pekin and Plays. Hunts of Iron 4 with the Kaiserreich mod. We are back in Poland. So, it's been a bit of a time lapse and also, uh, sorry for not putting a video out yesterday. I just didn't have time to record. I'm working every day. I uh, didn't. I slept in the other day, didn't record. Now I am, uh, got about an hour until I have to go to work. So I'm going to get this episodes out so I can get out by Friday. So then, we left off, I think it was February of uh, 1939 now it's July nothing has really happened uh, all that's really happened is that I've just managed to get my fighter numbers back up by keeping them on interception instead of air superiority now I have air superiority and I'll be able to shoot down a lot of these fighters here let's see blah 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 blah, blah. not a whole lot basically our lines haven't changed at all it's just been a situation where they have too many men in the mountains for me to be able to push through and we just don't have enough troops to even want to push because even if we do make it across the lines we're not going to have enough troops to actually hold i have a concentration of force over here because i'm thinking of maybe pushing through the trans carpathians over here but uh trying to get the ungvar to get across but it's it's not exactly easy past that it's just been a bunch of fighting over here in serbia a lot of back and forth, a lot of naval invasions of Greece. Uh, Italy has been attacking their way through, trying to reunite all of Italy. They've already taken Rome, and it won't be too long until they take Naples, I'm sure. As for our supply situation, it's not very good. We're down 10,000 infantry equipment, but that's mostly because we are building new troops, and they need the infantry equipment. Down 200 medium tanks. We do have medium tanks now. Uh, 1939 tax, already got that. In here, already got those getting ready. You, pretty good. You get 20% on a grand battle plan strategy. I think we're fine. Ah, uh, we can get better recon companies, I guess. We have almost a million manpower, so we're not really hurting on manpower. Hmm. Looks like they've finally decided to attack over here, but looks like it'll be pretty easily repelled because of all of our forts. And because of their superiority. Over here, the the Germans keep attacking because, you know, their AI is not very good. Ooh, also Sothematum. And there goes the Germans, that'll help. Second Weltkrieg. Now, what would be very bad is if Austria joins the Reichspact, because that's something that can happen, but they're in the Dunyar area Bund. I don't think they can leave it. Over here, you guys just need to get your shit together. In fact, I should probably put uh, garrisons on high. That works. Put reinforcements on high. Make sure we're keeping our troops ready and willing. You just keep joining that force. Hmm. Bulgaria has joined the Reichs Pact. Okay, well, at least it's not mine. We've established the military. I want to get my stability above 50, but I don't think that's going to be possible without using, say, uh, sending the army. Political power down, recruitment population down, division recovery rate down, but weekly stability up for 180 days. It's a long time. And I don't intend to crush Germany just yet, so we'll hold off on that. We could build infrastructure and then get factory output up. We could get a research bonus, we might as well. The new technical colleges. Can I do anything in here? I could go from... I could go up to total, but that will sap all of my manpower, so that's probably not a good idea. Hmm. You guys keep attacking. Well, we might as well send over some reinforcements, because you guys do seem to be having a problem. No, no. You guys are fine. They do have a large concentration of force there, though. You know what? Come back. We'll stick to the plan, I guess. If these lines are going to hold, then they're going to hold. If they keep attacking me, then they'll just wear out their manpower faster than I will. And that'll be good. Because they only have, I think, bare bones infantry. A, a tink. Let's look at these. Only infantry. Garrison division. Garrison. Something, but probably garrison and Tabori garrison. They're all garrison divisions. They're all just pure infantry No cannon of any kind The only thing holding them together is the fact that they have a lot of infantry 
Yeah, if that's the case, then you're probably going to be taking a lot of casualties in this war. But then again, Serbia's been taking a lot too. And uh, Hungary is surprisingly not taking a lot of casualties. Now that with the forces here, it would be attack there, then push through into Ungvar, try to push them off of these mountains, because this is just a hills province, it's not mountains. So if we can get them to just come off the mountains, come off the hills over here, by forcing them. So you, a full attack in with the cav. And you, supporting fire. We can start up our advances once again. Ooh! A new challenger has approached. So that, if Italy takes out all of Austria, that'll be very good for us, because that, that'll just end the war. That'll be the entire end of the war. So you're through, or at least you will be. Now you attack there to try to get the Ungvar. Though you can't attack with every force. You get at least one to hold. You guys got in the way. Surprisingly, despite the fact that there are now a new challenger, none of these troops are falling back. And you've joined a third international. So Daniel Eribund. Okay, I think this is just the end of the war. I don't think Austria is coming off these heights. I think they've I think they're just gonna give up. Hmm. Although, let's see. How about a prepared defense? We might as well. Could have thrown 100 in there. Although, as soon as they get onto. Union of Britain is joining. As soon as they get into, say, Innsbruck, Germans can come in from Bavaria and attack the Italians that way. Though I don't know if they have any Germans in that area. You. N2 Sicily has joined the Reichspack, so it's not going to be as simple. Hmm. I'm mean, in France, blah, 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 Mexico, something about Mexico. Joining the war, I guess. Let's get some oil, because we are technically losing oil. Ooh! Now that's interesting. Now that, that there is interesting. Hmm. An invasion of the Ukraine. Philippines have been defeated. You, you've made it through a little bit, but we're not through entirely. If we could... That's mountains. It's gonna be tricky. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Send one in. Support. 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 And now you're figuring it out. How long is it gonna take, though? Like, 40 days? This is not gonna happen. Coming to France. Decline? I wanna keep my options open here. You come in through this way. Decline. A decline. No interests in your wars. Everything going on around us, but not a whole lot is happening to us. So yeah, the Italians are through. They've taken over all of Slovenia. I've been yeeted across into the middle of the Pacific Ocean. That was weird. You guys are a holding force, so you go ahead and... Oh, you can't even. That's not something you can do. You. Five days. Send in the cav. Send one back that way. Hmm. Ah, no, you all left. But it did work as far as kicking you off the mountains. I won't get us around, but I will at the very least take over a mountain province. For not insignificant amounts, but I did have to fight for it. So the Germans can still go through my territory. They can still go through mine to get into the Ukraine, which I am decently okay with. Even though I do intend to attack the Germans, the way I see it, if they can send an entire army group into the Ukraine, and then I betray them, that's, that's just good business. Because now would certainly be the time to do it. Now is the time when they are at their most vulnerable. So I need to keep an eye out on what Italy is doing because it's in all likelihood they are actually going to get the bulk share of most of this territory down here just because, you know, you know me, I want to be fair. I was going to give that all that territory to, uh, you, you know what, an attack onto a, ooh, look at that. Looky dare, looky dare, okie day. 
You straight through. If they're gonna leave the field open, we're going to take it. Hmm, still not worth it to put it on an actual attack move. <laughs> yep. Okay, now you can hold now, you can hold now, and you can hold now. Hmm. You need to go into that province, I think? How long until you move in? One day, you move in. One day, 10 hours? Okay. One day and 22 hours. We still get there faster. Coming to France to Club in Dutchland. Man, coming to France is just doing all, all the work, ain't they? So, back to our originally scheduled plans. Let's do an attack this direction. You come in this way. You. It's a lot of troops, and that's a Hills Province. Not really a good attack plan. But we bring in troops from the sides. With the hope you are not going to succeed in your attack. Looking across the line, we're doing fine, we're doing fine. shang chi click was defeated. You, we just keep kicking them back. I like it. Because every time we try to surround them, they just fall back. Which means... Let's do it again. Why not just do it again? You, you through, through. Uh, let's see. You now can hold. We're kind of running low on org. That's the one thing that's happening. We're running low on organization. And it looks like they're spreading out again. Over here. Mm hmm. 1939 tech still. Excavation? Sure. We don't really have a lot to excavate, though. I mean, there's, there's something in. No, not really. Hmm. Property of Belgium? No. No, not really interested. You attack on through, attack on through. They're not getting a concentration of force over here. Austria sues for peace. Huh. With the tyrannical Habsburg monarchy, troops have been beaten in the field. Not glorious. Ah, that is actually an event. Hmm. Well, honestly, we're winning now. We don't really need to pull out. So we lose. Ah, oh, it's so much. Even the decrepit rotten, they were willing to cede all of our claims except those on core Austrian land. They will desperate to salvage what is left. What the arms achieved is little reason to refuse. Here's the thing I would like to push further. What is our claims? It wouldn't be down to here, would it? What even are our claims? We literally don't have any claims. I mean, we'll. We I was hoping to take over, say. Like a Czechoslovakia area as a border region, uh, give Romania over to there. And if I don't stay in the war up until the point where Vienna is taken, I won't be able to dictate the terms. And I was hoping to leave an Austria-Hungary pair alive and take everything else around it. So I think I'll take the hit, which is going to be a big hit. And I don't know if we're ever going to get that back. I don't think we will. One thing Kaiserreich does a lot is it has a lot of stab hits that uh, just, they just happen. You can't really do much about it. French Republic has declared war. Oof. No, Serbia's out. Huh. Hmm, should just take my cores, I guess. Because Romania, they got all their stuff. Serbia, they have not a lot. Uh, that's fine. You cancel our military access. We don't need to move through your lands. Hold. So now all these troops have to leave. They shouldn't be able to attack through, so I can just put this army unit somewhere else. I could tuck it into, say, your army. And continue on. A conscription crisis, the Treaty of Budapest. I'm not interested because we are winning and I would like to... Like I said, I intend to leave... Hungary and Austria alive, similar to the Treaty of Trianon. And now we can just kind of push through things, right? Over here. If we push through there, we'll be fine. You... 
How about uh, an attack there? Support. Support. Good. Good. You attack that way. Just to keep them busy. Taken out. Taken out. <laughs> you push through. They're going to have all their troops that were over here come back around. The fall of Berkos. Hmm. Hope someone's not calling me. It's kind of hard to tell. You. Oh, look at that. They've abandoned the line again. They have their troops in a very weird formation. You... Hmm. Well, you exist just to get taken out. Please come this way. There you go. Have fun with that. You... Your attack plan isn't very good. Let's see, something more like... That way. Did I put that? Yep. No, the army, thank you. Follow Gibraltar. Hey, why don't you stop? Why are you stopping? You go that way, you go that way, and you attack there. We're gonna have to do everything we can with infantry. You've already defeated those troops. Although, looks like they can just walk through Romania. So I didn't actually get the kill. You, yes, give me weapons. Do it. Do it. I dare ya. Looking at my forces, I uh, very... It's gonna be a long way until I can actually field any of those. Got it. You in there. You in there. You hold. Holding force. Holding force. Holding force. Force attack. You attack that way. We are getting this pocket done and we are doing it right now. Okay? Good. Glad we could all come to our same arrangement. How long until you make it in there? Two days. We need to hold this pocket open for two days. We need to attack everything that tries to come through it. People have joined the Third Internationale. Sounds like a big whole load of not my business. By the way, how's everything doing over here on the Western Front? Uh, Ukraine might fall, Lithuania has fallen. Oh, daddy. We got the pocket. How many is in here? 14 divi 18 divisions are stuck in there. If that field army is destroyed, it's all over for them. And while that army is stuck in there, by the way, we should move up our fighters, air superiority, into Slovakia. Bombers, you're just bombing. You be bombing. You know, you, uh, we should focus, you know, keep keep that up. Because that is where we need to have the fighting. Yep, good. You, keep up the fighting, keep up the fighting. <laughs> you, you doing the Lord's work? How about another... Not all of you need to go at once. You can go that direction, you can go that direction. Uh, yeah, you all seem to be doing fine. Up here, you hold? Hmm. Yeah, you come back in. Looks like they're all trying to escape through here. You hold? Liberia's capitulated, United Baltic Duchy has capitulated. Eventually, I need to, you know, fight Russia, but that, that'll, that'll have to wait. I think Germany is the weaker of the targets. You. You're weak. Well, too bad. Oh, they actually managed to retake one of their positions. Well, we still need to make sure that this thing falls. It's in the hills. It is low on supply. That's why we no longer have our Serbian allies and Romanian allies anymore. Or do we? Illyria is still in the war? Except they're not in the Danyara area Bund anymore. They got kicked out. Weird. You go in there and make sure that area can hold for another bit. It's all about securing this one pocket. If we can do that, we can end the war in a good manner. Yeah, we might as well work on anti-tank. We're gonna need it if we're going up against the Germans without any tanks. Although, I don't know if they have any medium tanks yet. It might be easier just to go with... Ethiopia's done a thing. Contemporary assembly lines you get in there or get in over here I don't really care what you do you 15 divisions now 16 so that's down some of the divisions have fallen off the face of the earth here's another pocket it's a glorious thing 
more and more pockets, please, as we push towards Budapest. And Vienna, hopefully. Because it's all about taking Vienna. If we can take Vienna, we have the war. You, you're getting secured. Your numbers are falling. You're all in the battle now. You have 200. Because I'm attacking from every possible direction. In terms of planes, we actually have the planes. And there goes Illyria. Now then, I think it was the case that, um... Not sure if there's really ever a good way to split it. Damn trains. Oh, it's coming in with their trains. I think most of it should definitely go over to Serbia. Though, yeah, Illyria was controlled by the Italians. Hmm. Though that would look awkward. This was all controlled by them. It was these two provinces that were controlled by the Italians, though they might just create a Croatia. Though it would look weird. It would look weird if you did that. So I think... Hmm. Hmm. I'll give that over. I'll give to... Where is... There's Italy. I'll give Italy what it has just so I can get through this peace deal. Because yeah, it looks fine once you get through the peace deal. And they'll probably create a Croatia, so it should be fine. I was going to use my state transfer tool to get through it. Uh, yes, please. The Third Internationale is going to supply me with the weapons of their own destruction. And Serbia has disbanded the Belgrade Pact in favor of the Entente. Which makes a lot of sense, because now the Entente is going to want to try and fight their way through, so it all works out in the end, don't you think? Don't you think? They've uh, cancelled their non-aggression pact with us, and so is the Romania and Greece. So they're likely all going to join the Entente. Ah, oh, daddy, here comes the battle. And there it is. So let's see. Let's let's see about that. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> That's the Battle of Krakow. 173,000. Yeah, it's in the outskirts of Krakow, I guess. So, just everyone attack. We can do attack moves now, just so I can make sure it's happening even when I'm not watching. We're going to blast our way through. We can now move up my close air support to Slovakia. Slovakia was important next. You make sure you keep going. And with that, we must have taken a whole bunch of equipment too, right? 3,000 captured, two captured by us, five captured. That's within the last 12 months. What about in the last month? 2,000 captured in that battle. Hmm. Wonderful. Well, with that, I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.